Hello and welcome to day 20 of the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar Review which as you can see is going to turn into da -da -da, the Imperial Shuttle. Uh, we've had one of these before um, so just looking at the picture there is going to be some similarities but we'll have a look once it's built um, and uh, we'll do a comparison with previous years. Okay, so now that it's built, um, what we'll do is a quick comparison with the previous uh, version we've had um, from the uh, 2011, uh, 2011 Day 10 calendar. Slightly different um, in terms of the build, mainly down to the, sort of the back detail and uh, tiles and colour schemes. That's worked out there, as you can see. So there's a few differences, um, and to be honest, I think I do prefer the, the newer one. Big reason uh, for that is because I like this light trans blue um, sort of grill element never seen that in that color before so that's kind of uh, nice to get the overall shape is still the same you still get the same look effect and feel with this uh, model so it's similar in that respect but it's nice to get a slightly updated one they haven't just literally remade it but again could they have done more there must be loads more ships that haven't been made on a sort of mini build scale um, like this but maybe next year we won't hold our breath, but just in case. Um, so, looking at uh, previous years, 2011 we had a TIE Fighter. Um, 2012 we had General Grievous's um, ship. And then last year we had Obi-Wan Kenobi's Starfighter, which is nice in addition to the Jedi Starfighter we had this year, um, which obviously was in Obi-Wan Kenobi's colour scheme, which I think is probably one of my favourites. It does have lots of whoosh factor. The little TIE um, fighter ship is really small, especially compared to this year's uh, version of that. So it still has a lot of um, plus points for me. This mini build surprised me because it is quite accurate for a small scale build compared to the, the actual ship. But I do have a soft spot for the Imperial Shuttle. It's one of my favourite Star Wars vehicles. Um, you know, so cool in terms of how it lands, the wings um, folding up and obviously going into flight mode as well. Um, it has a really good profile, so um, LEGO have done really well in, in capturing that, but as I said, they have done this before, so we're not really getting anything new that we haven't had before, apart from that element at the back. But, you tell me what you think, like, comment and subscribe, um, we've got a few more days left, 21st, 22nd, 23rd and then just the 24th. So we're getting towards the end now, but thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.